Ah, let's do this. This is the one. This is the one I'm feeling it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, game. On the first round? Claws of attack? On the first round? Okay, game. I would definitely take that. Thank you so much. Should I even get the pan at this point? Hmm. Should I get the pan for a shovel? That is the question of the day. I think I should. Yeah, let's get the pan for a shovel just because shovel is always a good early game little thing to use. Um, we can reserve that and that and let's also reserve the garlic and we'll just buy all that next round. We'll just buy all that next round. Don't ask me why I have my pan outside of the Rangers back along with not hitting the gloves of haste. Don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it, bro. I don't even want to hear it. This dude's got the goober. We have no form of healing, no defense. All the only thing we got going for ourselves right now is spikes and uh, this guy's got a whole goober. We definitely lose this. <laughs> we definitely lose this, bro. 100% chance. I got the freaking I got I got that on the first round. This guy's got a whole freaking goober on the first. That is insane. Boom. There goes the dirty claws of attack and we got ourselves a broom. We can go ahead and get that and let's actually just buy regeneration here instead of buying the garlic. I think that's a little bit better. Um, Let's put you inside the Ranger's bag because that's important. Our, our stamina uses is super duper high though, which we can't really do anything about that. Not right now, at least not until next round. And then we can actually just not have both of these at the exact same time. That would be a thing, thankfully. All right, so this guy's got the wooden sword. He's got a wet snow with the shovel and he's got a little bit of regeneration or a little bit of healing because of the banana. Um, we might probably more than likely will use this because of stamina, even if we do have our regeneration going for ourselves, unless unless a critical just happens right here. Unless, uh, unless, unless, ah, there we go. Our weapons actually tried to attack before he did, but we wasn't, we didn't have any stamina. We might've won that considering, but here we go. Now we got the shovel. Now we can actually kill people. Let's get the garlic that's on sale because as garlic is on sale is a good garlic. Let's get the piggy bank too. Just because that's also on sale, we definitely need the clover. That's a no brainer. And we can, should we get the walrus tusk? Um, it will do 5% faster every single pierce. Let's add. Yeah, let's get the walrus tusk and I will roll for a regeneration and let's get a little bit more space. I think that'll be good for us. Um, and then we can just rock this. Okay. Did we just go against this dude or we just went against this dude? No. At least we've seen someone that was mad. Now nah, it was a different name. This kid is mad similar though. I think the only difference was the whetstone. I think the piggy was like this way. But I mean, hey, I, I, we might. We're probably gonna beat this dude this time, considering we don't have uh, we don't have the hindrance of not having stamina, you know. But um, yeah, that's what exactly what it's looking like too. There we go. <laughs> nice little W. We'll take that. And we got a free garlic. Thank you, game. Let's get the regeneration, the storage, um. Leather armor could be nice, but I, I, I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh my God. Okay. Boom. Hungry blade right at the back. Goodbye shovel. As soon as I can do it, I will. Can this, okay. That sells for one. So that's four or five and then we'll do six and seven, but I don't, or we could, we could sell the piggy bank. I think, you know what? Let's not, I think we win next round. I don't want to rush it. I think we win next round and we'll just buy this next round. That'll be the plan. This is also on sale. So let's get the customer cards too. But I think we win next round. If we don't win this round. Oh no, that's going to be a lot of poison. And you know, he's also got Goobert. He doesn't have a lot of DPS, but he's definitely going to be relying on poison to do damage to us. Hopefully with our claws of attack and our shovel, we could do enough DPS to do before he gets a lot of poison on us. Um, I'm glad he doesn't have a banana or anything like that, but that goober might just be enough healing, honestly. He's only got two things that's triggering the goober, the poison right there, along with the broom, but that might be enough because we already got we already got six poison on us. Fatigue's probably about to kick in any minute now. Um, We are winning for now, but that poison, that is 10 poison plus fatigue. I think he's low enough, though. Yeah, he's definitely, yeah, there we go. Nice little W. Thank you so much. We'll take that home. We got ourselves a carrot, which is interesting sell you let's get the hungry blade on the field we could get some storage because we need it honestly we should probably buy everything here 
but just buy everything here we can sell the garlic i don't really well actually no let's not sell the garlic let's not sell the garlic oh we might need more some, some more space i want to put that there i don't think i want two claws of attacks though because that's what 0. 0.5 that's two because every second you regenerate one stamina we're already using 0 0.9 i do not like being out of stamina if we do get another one that'll be what two stamina being used at the same time because we're using um wait what oh yeah we are i was looking at something in time yeah we're using one stamina per second right now if we add another clause of attack that'll be a 0 0.3 so we'll be using 1.3 stamina at the same time which honestly isn't that bad now that i think about it yeah okay Boom, let's get another cause of attack. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, let's get another cause of attack. Is there... We could definitely rearrange this a little bit better. Well... Laying that flat would probably be ideal, right? We could maybe just... There's a way to do this. There's definitely a way to do this. Hold up. Okay, maybe there isn't. We'll just rock that. We'll just rock that. Even though it's not as min max as I would like it to be, I think that'll still be good. All right, so this guy... Oh, an early gym box. I would love to have an early gym box. Look at that guy. He's already got a freaking... Uh, your healing is amplified by 20%. He has no healing! What's the point of doing that if you have no healing? You might as well just put one of these on your sword for the life still. You literally have no form of healing at all. Uh, am I blind? Yeah, he doesn't have any form of healing. I don't know why he did that. But, uh, I mean, that's what he did. And I think we're probably going to be taking this one home. That's what it looks like. Especially since we got the Hungry Blade. That thing is disgusting, especially early game. Let me get thorns, bro. Let me let me get the thorn whipping is over with. And any minute now, one more hit. Boom. Thank you, sir. Oh, and we got another clover. That is nasty. Um, yeah, you can stay right there. I'm definitely gonna be buying this clover. And we could just buy another carrot. I mean, we can move both of those down, put the carrot right there. Just because it's on sale. Let's also get the stone skin potion. Oh, there we go. There goes the thorn whip. We got another regeneration. We're definitely going to be needing the stamina pack. Um, and I think that's good. Let's just preserve that one little goal that we have. Just because. Oh, that's a lot of blind. I'm so glad we got the extra carrot. So glad. We should be able, with two carrots on the play, we should be able to pierce, or not pierce, but uh, we should be able to cleanse that blind, especially with our triple clovers. So we have, what, an 80% chance of accuracy right now. But, um... Here comes our carrots coming into play, doing that work that carrots do. Get rid of those debuffs for me. Thank you very much. Even though he does have double shovel, we should still be fine. And I believe we're also going to be out DPSing him because we have two claws of attack with our Hungry Blade. And it looks like our stamina is doing pretty well at the same time. Um, We're not losing too much. Yeah, that wasn't that. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Let's go ahead and buy this. We definitely need space here. So I think we just buy the, uh, the stamina sack. I do want a bird. Not right now, though. We might not be able to use a few items um, while we are doing this. But the earlier we get the thorn, uh, um, the um, the blood thorn, the better, right? We could put that there. I don't want to use the, this potion because we're definitely not going to be having that 20 defense on us for to even use the potion. Um... We could potentially move this up by one, right? And then just move where the Hungry Blade is, like so. We can even put it right there, just for min-maxing. I really want to just rock the garlic right here, just to make everything just a little bit faster. And then we could put down our Thorn, um, our Claws of Attack. Lucky Clover can go there. And when Piggy, you can go right there. I think that looks beautiful. I think that looks beautiful. All right. Oh, yeah, we should definitely win. We should definitely win. The only thing, this dude's got the, the hero sword. He's got the spike shield. He's got the claws of attack, double stamina sacks. He's got the banana. But all of that, I, I think we should take this home. Honestly, we should definitely be taking this one home. Oh, there goes our first out of stamina. Oh, I forgot. We have the thorn whip on us. So our stamina uses is going to be horrible. If we lose this, it'll be because of that. And it looks like this is a pretty close game. 57-57 already. This is definitely a pretty close game. We're going to have to rely on our vampirism in order to do a lot of that healing because we have no banana. Oh, no. Up. Oh, the ties have changed. Up. Oh, we went back down. He goes back down. Now we're tied again. 8, 10, 6. There we go. That was super close. Super, super, super close. Boom. There goes our blood thorn. Let's get our piercing arrow. 
Um, let's see here. We definitely need space right now. I say we buy a more regeneration just to flee the uh, defeat our bloodthorn because we only got one healing herbs right now. But I do need to rearrange this in a way to make it make sense. Um, uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna rearrange everything here. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna go there. That way we have two forms of, but you know, besides the club, we have two forms of activation and um, everything is, is everything is getting that plus 30% weapon damage. Or we could do that as another option we have just so we can use the uh, the item activation on the claws of attack. Or we could do that. You know, I really don't know. I say maybe just keep that on the claws of attack just for critical chance, right? Move that to the back, put the blueberry right there for the activation. Um, and then we could just feed food to the blueberry. Oh, just like that. Just, just try to make the blueberry as fast as possible. Um, and then we could just put this guy just right there. And then everything else would probably just fall into play. Let's honestly, wait a second. We might be able to actually fit in the bird somewhere. Just like right here. Hmm. Actually, wait, 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 wait. If I move this like that instead, that gives me... There we go. I wanted it on the food because right there it's not on the food, but right there it is. I think that is beautiful. I think that is beautiful. Um, and we could sell the piggy now just so we can get that regeneration because I still want that. And I think that is probably the play we go with right now. Yep, sell piggy, buy the regeneration, reroll. Maybe we can get some space. Looks good. We got that. Need. Oh my God, we need everything here. We buy everything here. We buy every single last one of these things right here. Um, that's beautiful. This is looking good. This is... Oh! All right, this is looking pretty interesting. Okay, I see with the big old ruby, that 35% life still looking juicy. With the tusk piercer, um, it doesn't look like he has any form of thorns, though. So that's a thing. So... He's not really utilizing the piercer like that, considering he can only use it one time because at the start of battle, you gain that thorns. But other than that, we're looking pretty nice. Hold on, what's the stamina uses? Oh, the stamina uses of the blood thorn goes up by one. That's why we're not using it as much. Interesting. We might have to sell the thorns of attack because look at that. It's just not activating. It's just not activating. Luckily, we're getting our empowerment mainly because uh, of the claws of attack, I believe, plus with our carrots. But our Bloodthorn not activating is pretty scary. So I say we actually sell the Claws of Attack. We just need to put something else in its place, which we could put the Book of Light because that activates every two point. Uh, oh, no, this is actually not an activation. It's just a weapon deal. Okay, never mind. Let's just put that down there for now. And I say we buy another Clover because that's a no brainer. We should also more than likely probably buy the Fanny Pack just to make things a little bit faster. And I do want a blood amulet just for more vampirism. And hopefully I can get me another hand to turn it into 35% and uh, gain six vampirism after four seconds. Which I think that is definitely the place. So yeah, sell you, buy you. And we can figure out a way of putting our blood thorn just like so. Now we're just a little bit messed up because of the carrot. Um... Which we can move these around just a little bit. That way, that looks that looks uh, refined. Besides that not being activated by anything. Other than that, this looks kind of refined. Um, unless we move the stamina sack over into here. That way we can still keep this little situation going on. I don't even know if that was better or not. As long as the blueberry is, you know, getting hit by three things, I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think that's good. And we could just put that wherever we want. We're definitely, uh... I don't know. I don't know if we could put something there. I Honestly, we might just be rocking the closet attack plus the Bloodthorn. And then we could just put that... We don't even need to use this, honestly. But we'll just put it there. I need to preserve my gold because that is a lot of gold. 12 gold plus the five. That's a lot. Oh, my God. That's a big hammer. Not even a hammer. That's a big blade. Okay. So we're going to be definitely going to be taking a lot of damage as soon as that activates. Right about now. 
40 damage off the dome. I'm glad it's not a crit build, though. Because when the things crit, they do like 100 damage per. You know what I mean? And we could just heal that right back, which we just did, especially with our vampirism and our... um. And now it's pretty much the only way we're healing because of vampirism. But yeah, that's a W. What a build. I wonder if he's going to do with that great sword because that thing is crazy. Ooh, there goes our bow and arrow that we so much so love. Um, Yeah, we buy that. That's a no brainer. We definitely buy that. Let's, um, we need space. Crap. We need space because if we buy this, I want it to go right there. Right there. Beautiful. <laughs> now we just need to figure out where we're going to put our bird. Um, because our bird's not going to be able to get on the food unless we tilt it this way, which that looks nice. Yes. Or maybe even this way. No. Yep. This right here. That looks nice. Um, now we just need to figure out how we can actually put it there because that's not going there on its own. Let's see here. We could buy the potion belt. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy the potion belt just for space. And we can move the stamina pack here. That way we could put that guy just like so. We should probably more than likely figure out a way to move it down by one, though. Because if we move it down by one, that bow and arrow also gets inside of the speed. Along with the garlic right there, which I think would be good. But unfortunately, we kind of just can't do that right now. Um, can organize this food to make it a little bit better. I think that's pretty solid. And everything else can pretty much just go wherever it wants. Let's get the Fortuna's Grace as well. Never forget that. And I think that's good. I'm going to roll here. There goes the hands. We should probably get that, actually, and combine it with this guy. Yeah, that's a play. Boom, sell you, get the hands. We also got ourselves a healing potion. We can combine it with our stone skin. Um, How are we going to put the hands on there? Let's do that. That works. I'm going to put that there just for no reason, honestly. Because why not? I think this is pretty solid for the most part. Yeah, that looks pretty solid to me. Let's go ahead and run it. Oh, we're looking at a super pan. So we got super pan. He's probably going to have uh, the, the claws next round. He's also got that. Gaining the regeneration plus the mana. He doesn't really use his mana or anything. So he's mainly just betting on that regeneration. But he's got a bunch of health potions as well. That dragon skin is part. Yep, there goes the dragon skin activating. But other than that, we should beat this guy. We definitely out DPS him, I believe. Even if he does have a super pan, I think we definitely out DPS, dude. With our blood thorn plus our bow and arrow. And then we also got vampirism on top of that. I think this will probably more than likely be a nice, nice, nice W. One more hit should take it. And... Or two more. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Boom, looking juicy. Now, do we get cleanse here? I say we do, to be honest. Just get it now and get it over with. Um, Or we could get the healing potion. Now, nah, let's get the cleanse. Let's get that just to get it over with. Now, the question of the day is, should I replace the Book of Light with the blueberries? That's the question of the day. The Book of Light is a whole second faster than the blueberries. Actually, let's see. Let's start this. We're going to see how fast the blueberries is at the end of this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's not going to have any stamina at all. He's got the Hero Sword. He's got the Hungry Blade. He's got the Thorn Whip. So as far as stamina goes, we should be beating this dude. But I mean, he does have the pumpkin. He does have the pumpkin. That's a thing. That's a little scary. However, we got 11 vampirism, which is a lot of vampirism. Holy crap. Oh, he just took 55 damage. Go ahead and use your potions. Oh, another 55. Keep it coming. Come on, bow and arrow. Let me see that critical. Let me see that double hit. Bow and arrow? Where are you at, bow and arrow? Let me see that double hit. Oh, massive damage. Massive damage. Come on, we got to win this. We're so close. There we go. Woo. That was a little bit too close for comfort, but we took that one home. We got to We got to buy that. We definitely buy that. All right, I think it's time for us to go ahead and rock the healing potion here. So we need the space. Going to buy the healing potion. And we got to move these around because the healing potion's got to go on here. Because that's a no-brainer. Um, or we could just rock it like so. Just so we can save our stamina pack to use it for something else. And let's get our birdie on. And where are we putting the vampirism gloves? What needs to be 35% faster right now? Probably 
to Bloodthorn, right? More than likely to Bloodthorn. So we can tilt that over, put that here, and then we can make some of the food faster. Um, like this? I don't know, that works for me. Even though there's a whole slot open right there. <laughs> that works for me. Um, let's buy you. And then we can just put you just like so once we get a little bit more space. Yeah, that's what we do. Reroll up. Oh my. That's exactly what we need right now. Buy that, buy that. Let's go ahead and buy the blueberries. We're gonna put the blueberries there. And we might even get ourselves a second book of light. Which would be good. And that's the play. But we got what? We got two clovers plus getting two clovers from that. So that's a 20%. That's a 40%. That'd be a 60% crayons to create, which would be amazing. All right, so this guy's rocking the looks like the mana thirst ripshaw blade. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a close one, especially with his own invulner invulnerability. And he's about to deal that six up. Oh, there it goes, that six blind to us. But we do got double carries to combat that a little bit. We're definitely out DPSing him, I think. But we did lose a lot of our vampirism uh, because of the ripshaw blade taking out our regeneration at the beginning of the game. So Oh, this is close. I need some criticals. I need some big criticals here. Big criticals here. Big criticals. Come on. He's only got seven health. Come on. He's only got seven health. Come on. Something. Damn it, bro. So close. So close. That was a that was a good game, though. He had the Mana Thirst, Ripshaw Blade. He had a little bit of critical on him. Oh, he has two strong healing potions. I didn't even see those. And then he also had the Goober for that 20 heal. That, that was a good game, though. I'll give him that. That was a good game. All right, but now, now things are changing. We're going to get so much more critical because of our ring. That's a no-brainer. Let's put you... You need to go here. Oh, actually, no, that works. That works, that works, that works. And we can get the protective purse um, just to make space for our bird. Yeah. So it goes right there. Looks good. And then we can buy this guy. Joe's going to get a little bit more mana so that this guy can activate a little bit faster. Um, I'm also going to buy the cap of resilience because I think that would be a good choice. We just don't have space for it right now. So we could reserve it and roll or we could just buy it in hopes of next turn uh, being able to use it somehow. Um, unless we sacrifice a food item here in order to put it down, which I think we do. I think that's good. Honestly, so let's just sell it. Roll, get ourselves another Lucky Clover and some more stamina. I think that's a W. Yeah, I think this is... Oh my, that's a lot of healing potions. I'm surprised I don't see an unhealing staff with all those healing potions. That's a lot of food. What are you rocking? So dude's got an Excalibur, but he kind of just doesn't have any of the plus one damages on it. And his, his blueberries activates 100% faster. Which is super duper interesting. Don't know why he's doing that. I think we take this one home. Honestly, I don't. I don't see why we sh wouldn't. To be fair, there goes his healing potions. Keep using them. You got two more left. Any any moment. Up oh, there we go. There's it. Yep. There we go. And then we should just kind of just kill him after this. And we're running low on stamina, which is uh, definitely a problem. We got to figure out our stamina situation. Maybe some stamina potions or something. But we definitely need it. There goes our book going off along with his at the exact same time. And any moment now, he should be gone. There we go. Nice little W. Let's go into survival mode. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Another book of light. Um, We, ne we need the space, though. We definitely need the space. I would love to buy the clover. I would love to buy the other book of light, which more than likely we're going to do. But we need space. So let's get that. And I'm going to rock the regeneration. I don't want to turn it into a super potion. Because I, I believe I, I value... Well, yeah, I value this higher. Well... Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's turn it into a super potion. I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. And hopefully I can roll from some space here, which we can. Just nice. And let's buy the regeneration, actually. Versus buying the space right now, because I value that higher. And then next round, we'll buy the space along with the book. And we should be way stronger. Look at this dude. This dude's rocking double lightsaber. He's got the ruby whelp as well. Um, this is interesting. He's got a lot of food items. 
He doesn't really have crit like that though, right? What's the crit chance? 20% crit chance with the ring. Ours is looking like a nice 70%. How is he doing that much damage to us though? Holy crap, we just took a lot of damage. I don't know where. Come on, we can take we can take this dude. We can take this dude. We can take I don't know how he did so much damage to us out of literally nowhere. But we took him. We took him. That was interesting. I think it's actually because of this. I think it's because of our stone skin potion, consuming that and uh, getting rid of that 15 health, more than likely. But that was a little scary. We can use this to get uh, to fix our stamina issue. So let's buy the space. Now we just need to figure out a spot to actually put this, which we can put it up here. That would be perfect. We just need space now. Um, which I mean, we let's buy it. I'm gonna just buy it. We can actually move this like that. Boom. That's looking good. And I think that's great. I, I I don't think that could get any better. Honestly, and we just need a little bit more space so we can actually put our book of light somewhere. Um, let's buy you and we'll start the next round. All right, let's go ahead and rock it. I do want to conserve a lot of my gold since that's nine and that's 12. That's a lot of money to be spending. So we're definitely going to be needing it next round. This guy, all oh, he's pretty much got the exact same build I have, except he's got the lightsaber plus the rip shot. I wonder who's going to win here. He's definitely going to be using up a bunch of his stamina, but he's definitely got that covered. Apparently, he's got a bunch of stamina already. Come on. We, we got to take this one home. We have to take this one home. Come on, regeneration. Come on, uh, lifestyle. There goes our potions going off. We're pretty much tied. Boom. Big hits right there. Boom, boom. That's what I'm talking about. We are superior. Look at that. This was an interesting build, though. He didn't even use any of his stamina potions. I didn't even like he was using stamina like that. One. That's what? One a point. One a second nine a second and then 0.3 a second that's not that much stamina that's what like a 2.3 stamina uses right there versus ours which is a 1.5 plus a 1 2.5 or no actually 0.4 plus that one uh 0.5 so, our, so ours is a 2.1 and his is a 2.1 as well interesting let's realize something this one's 0.3 uh stamina being used every second and this one's a 0.4 stamina being used every second interesting how the values are different don't know why interesting but anyways he he had the stamina covered just in case he needed to use it. he had a lot more rings than we did though he had a hundred percent crit chance hundred percent crit chance right there that is scary we did as well but still that is scary business he had seven clovers we had 13 we had 13 clovers on us probably because of the blueberries casting and this is also 2.89 seconds so it is slower than the 2.27 seconds so we might be uh, moving that potentially, but either way, that was a good game. That was a good game. I'm super happy I won there because going against builds like that, you, you, you just think to yourself, oh no, we're probably about to lose. This dude's got the lightsaber. He's got the rip shot. He's got, you know what I mean? But now nah, we, we, we beat him. I'm happy about that actually. Super duper happy about that. Um, sh What should we do here? What do we buy here? What we can do is actually, we can move this over. And then we can put our book just like there. We can buy the space from that guy. And we just need one more gold in order to get the, the amulet. But we will have to sell something. I don't want to sell a blueberry because we just got two books. So that's going to be using up a lot more of our uh, of our book power. We could sell the lucky clover since we're getting lucky clovers from the piercing over. We had like, like 13 the last game. Um, and we had a 100% chance to crit. So we could sell one of these. I don't think it's going to hurt too much per se maybe i mean one is a little like so that's five ten so we're pretty much giving up 15 percent chance to crit in order to get this guy which honestly is probably not going to be worth we could just buy it next round so let's not be greedy let's not be greedy we can literally buy it next round let's re-roll again we got another bird and we also got a fanny pack with the protective purse we got we definitely need to buy all of those um Thing is if we do get the bird where are we putting it that's the question right here would be such a nice spot oh yeah we definitely put it right here even even if it takes away our carrot i say we definitely put it right there yeah that's a no-brainer that's a no-brainer boom let's buy that we'll put it right there next round because we could just buy the protective purse for it I think that's going to be solid. So now we're going to get to do with Vampirism Armor. Another person with hell of stamina potions. He's got the Hero Longsword plus a Ripshot Blade. I see a lot of people rocking his Ripshot Blade. 25% faster. He's got 30% a chance for the mana plus the slowness. And he's also got the life still on him, which is a little bit interesting. I think we might be able to take this one home. Maybe. Especially since it's tied 
Uh, we haven't used up any of our invulnerabilities. There goes our potion being used. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Come on, let's go vampirism. Let me get that healing in. Come on, do a little bit more critical. Boom, 81, 30. Come on, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Let's go. Let's go. Nice little W. Nice little W. Ooh. I, first, I wish I would have saw this earlier. We might have been able to do something with it. I think it's too late to get that thing, though. Um, let's buy the protective purse. Do exactly what we said we were going to do last game. Boom. Even if we do take this away for that 10% faster, I mean, two triggers of this, and these are 10% faster already. And this only affects what one of the blueberries, right? So I think that'll be just a little bit better. And we can go ahead and buy this guy. Now, I kind of... Yeah, I kind of want to put the Book of Lights kind of somewhere in the mix of all of the birds somehow which we might be able to do let's get this i'm gonna move that there moving this over doesn't do that much let's actually you know what let's just replace that let's move these as well because i just want the birds to just affect the majority of the books here the faster the books, the better we are, I believe. And then we could just put our blueberries somewhere um, just to get the effect of the mana so we can actually gain mana. Which we could just put them here, honestly. Boom. 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 Now we can get some mana and we can just move these protective perches over just to put this last carrot down and get a little bit more. And where's our space looking like? Yeah, we can move that there, move that there, so we can put our hat in right there. That way, this is only missing, what, three slots? So that's pretty solid. Um, this is affecting both of the books. This is affecting one of the books. This one is affecting both of the books. Um, and I believe they're all also affecting the Bloodthorn, which is our main DPS, I believe. And then the Fortuna's, Gross, uh, Fortuna's Grace also is um, getting a little bit better because of the Bloodthorn. I think this is pretty solid. We could even buy another one of the Blood Amulets maybe i wish i could get me another hands i don't think the blood ammo is going to be worth it unless you can get hands Two vampirism is nice but getting six is even better um and it's getting faster because of the uh because of the birds as well and um when we got two more rounds i don't think we're going to be able to get another hand so i'm not going to reserve that to buy it um we did get another health potion which i think can help us especially with double triggering these health potions and uh strong skins potions we did get another stamina pack as well, so let's buy that. Hopefully, we can get another potion belt, because that'll be a lot better. What is this build? Looks like his main form of DPS is probably going to be the Bloodthorn. He's got hella health potions, a little bit of thorns. He's got three haste things on this guy. And then 30% health, deal 50% uh, damage. The thing is, are we going to get lower than that 30% health? Like, are you going to take us there, my friend? That's, that's the thing. Are you going to take us there? Let's see. I'd like to see that happen. Especially when we got 14 uh, vampirism on us. He's got a little bit more vampirism, though. I give him that. He's got a little bit more than us, but, uh, oh, damn. He actually took us there. Hold up now. Oh, out of stamina. Can't use it. Boom. Nice little W. We'll take that home. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get the stamina sack. And I do want to use this health potion, but I don't want to move the bird. Do not want to move that bird. Um,. I don't think we move the bird. I think we probably move that there. And we can maybe tilt that over and then buy this. Do a little situation like so. The thing is, where are we going to put this guy now? Um, we could put him here. That works. That works. Yeah, I think that all works out. Yeah, that looks good. And we can't really move you anywhere, so I'm not going to get you. We could get the Corrupted Crystal for the sake of getting Corrupted Crystals, because why not? Um, just to inflict that extra fatigue damage, which I think we actually do. Let's roll again. I'm looking for a little bit more space. I would just love just a tad, tad bit. Ah, oh, that works. And we got another Clover, which we can put there. And then we can put the Protective Purse down, put the Corrupted Crystal on that um and that should be solid i think this is actually the last round so we might not be doing anything this guy this is an interesting build oh my gosh i've never seen a build like this he's got one two three four five claws of attack all surrounding the piercing arrow and i'm pretty sure he's gonna have hella hella crit what's his okay so his crit change is 10 percent. he's only got one clover so that's the thing 
10%, yeah, okay, 5%, 10%. Yeah, because some of them are outside of the uh, outside of the ranger bag, which I've noticed. But I mean, he's only got one clover. If he had more clovers, this would probably be a little bit more dangerous, but he does have the arrow, which he's going to get more clovers at the end of the day. Um, and then the only thing we really got to worry about is him out healing us because that's a lot of health potions and that's a lot of stone skin potions and stamina potions. So that's a thing. I don't know why he's generating mana. I've got no idea why he's generating mana. He doesn't use mana for anything. Interesting. Um, I mean, and that's a lot of stamina to be using. Let's see what happens. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to beat him. <laughs> I don't really understand this build other than just having a bunch of claws of attack. I will be extremely surprised if he loses this. Extremely surprised. Let's see. He should be. Damn. There goes all his potions. He's got, a, what, 150 uh, armor from that. But boom, we just knock him all down and he is out of here. Good game. That was a good run. That was fun. Got ourselves back inside of Diamond. Thank you very much. Let's stay here now. Um, and this is the build. I I am actually a fan of this build. It's like a critting, vampirism, bloodthorn build. I am definitely a fan of it.